All right, well, here is something that's pretty cool. It's a learning center in Missouri City. It is open to help children learn how to code, build video games. It's called Code Ninjas. Mm -hmm. it, ooh, ah, yeah. it's helped to, oh, yeah, oh, it's helped to <laughs> prepare kids with their coding and problem-solving skills they'll need for the future jobs, especially in science, technology, engineering, and math known as STEM. You know, I think every kid needs to take a coding class. I agree. Every, even if they don't think they're going to head into this, this direction, they need to do mm -hmm. this. CW39 Houston's Kara Willis is live from Code Ninjas in Missouri City now with some of the students. What? 632 in the summer? Kara, are you serious? You have some kids there with you right now? <laughs> You know, Sharon and Ito, I do have some of the kids here, or sensei, should I say, with the Code Ninjas. We're actually going to get to them in a bit. But first, we've got Ashley. She's one of the directors here and also Parole. She's one of the owners here with her son, Dave. Um, Dave's not in the picture with us right now, but he's here getting the kids ready um, for us this morning. But we're talking about Code Ninjas and all the amazing things they're doing um, with STEM and how they're teaching kids how to code and build video games. So much fun. I'm going to go ahead and start the conversation off talking about Code Ninjas and what the program is for anyone who doesn't know what it is, Pearl. Code Ninja is like we, we teach kids all kind of uh, coding with the uh, fun games. They create uh, their own game. They create, that's that's their creativity also. So they learn a lot of things. They learn a lot of languages like JavaScript, make code, arcade, C++, Unity. So that way they learn a lot of things with the maths and other stuff. And what is your background in? I mean, there was a reason that you went into something so unique here for our kids. Basically, I am a Java programmer, and so that's why I love programming and coding. So technology and coding is in my blood. So I, I love to share that one with the community, with the children to make impact on their lives. So much passion here. Thank you so much, Parole. And Ashley, <laughs> can't forget about you. You work with the kids or the senseis. I'm yes. going to get it together. Senseis, i got to stop calling them kids. <laughs> um, they have a title, you guys. So you work with the senseis day in and day out here um, with the program. Go ahead and tell us what programs Code Ninjas offers to them. Yeah, absolutely. So throughout the school year and the summer, we do offer a variety of programs. For instance, we have Parents Night Out where parents can drop their kids off. Not only do they get to have fun, but they also get to do um, some coding in there. Uh, we also do after school programs for aftercare. We do offer some clubs, which is Minecraft and YouTubing Club. One real popular is our Lego. And then we also do offer day camps for when uh, parents have to work and the schools are closed for the day. We do open for kids to come in and do some coding for the day. And what age group is that? The youngest we do have is five years old and up. So we take all ages from five and up. Okay, and so why is it so important for um, kids out there to go into STEM? So STEM has been a very popular as of now. I'm sorry. There you go. So it has been popular. Uh, we want parents to know that it is an education for them in science, math. They get to learn how to code. It is something that they get to take with them in the future, in their future careers. Okay, so thank you so much, ladies, for being with me bright and early this morning. Very great information and Ido and Sharon as promised I will have some of the senseis with me for the rest of the morning you don't want to miss it we'll be back in a bit with that Kerrigan 